Rosalind Jocelyn, do you have anything to say? Dear Kelly, thank you for joining with us. What a beautiful day it is. Wow, the sun is out, the sky is blue. I feel good because I went on a long sunny walk yesterday and I woke up with energy. And I woke up a little earlier too. So you can see, Kelly, that your habits are changing. Your mood is changing set points so that you're used to a higher frequency. And when you can do the things that you can do to uh, normalize a higher frequency throughout the day, the mornings get easier. And then you can start that high mood earlier and you can maintain it more easily. So good job. Hang on to that. Appreciate that. Have gratitude for that, that things are shifting for you and it's easier to say yes to happiness. Um, that's the work. Good job. Um, overall, how about dealing with things, advice, it one thing at a time. Just take it one. Don't try to wrap it all up real quick so that you get it over with. Be mindful about it. All the rest of the work that you have to do in your life is going to require mindfulness. You're going to start uh, needing to be uh, conscious about your decisions uh, more meticulously need to be aware of the decisions that you're making all day. What frequency are you making those decisions from? And to grow that habit, doing the tasks of clearing your finances by making those phone calls with those businesses to cancel those subscriptions, even though it's you're not looking forward to it, that is going to... Uh, create a foundation um, in your decision-making process. You're going to come at your decisions from a different place after you do that work. So it is all shaping you. All of the work that you have to do, even though you think it's just this mundane thing to make this phone call that you have no idea how long it's going to take, if anyone's going to answer, if they're going to make you log in or wait on hold or whatever. That process, it's gonna train you. Every time you go through something that's uncomfortable, it teaches you about the limitations of your resources and whether or not you wanna to continue to put effort into starting those situations in the first place. Do you wanna start any other subscriptions? Okay, if you're gonna start a subscription, make sure it's something you're really sure about so you don't have to log in every month and change it. Um, okay, so it's a process. It, it will, you know, these things that have been annoying you, that are, your, they're weighing heavy. Once you do them, they're over and you're free. Okay. You know, it's kind of like someone who's trying to free themselves from their hands being tied by a rope and all they have is a tiny little razor and they have to rub against that razor for, you know, maybe three days to get free. But once you're free, you're free and you can go build a new life. So while you are working on your freedom, you can build the uh, fantasy of what your freedom will look like when you're done. And that's going to be hitting the ground running. So all this time that you're spending clearing these things by doing these mundane tasks, they're just annoying that you just want to ignore and forget and deny because life could be different. We know life could be different, but you've got to consciously create the boundaries around the things you don't want. And that's what you're going to do when you go through the process of clearing all this. You're going to figure out what you don't want. And you don't want to be sloppy. And you don't want commitments that you don't need. You know, you want to be free. All right? So free yourself. It's spring. It's beautiful. The flowers are blooming right now. Seize it. Okay? Just start living your new life. Start at putting your energy into the things you want to create and tidy up the loose ends that you 
you don't want to bring forward into your new manifestation. Right? Can't believe this recorded. I'm done. Um, we're surrounding you with light. So acknowledge the light and it will be magical for you. Um, and so it is.